Hi everybody, this is Lee. I have a quick journal share. Um, this is one that I made for my mom um, for Mother's Day. Um, just wanted to give her something simple, um, not too bulky, so I did a one signature. It's a little chunky, but not as bad as I usually do. This is a part of a Cavallini and Company file folder that I cut down um, just to make up a, a front. And there's some paper behind, and this is a um, envelope um, that I have folded. It's one of the big ones. It's like a 10 by six and a half, I think. And it's just plain on the back. And I put layered some flowers and a Prima bulb that says Inspire and a key here. I'm sorry for the glare, but I'm having a film in my kitchen right now because <laughs> um, everybody else is in bed except me. Um, this is a flare button from Prima. So we'll go inside really quick. I did it. This is my second take. The first one was too long. <laughs> this is just a mannequin die that my mom made for me off her brother scan and cut. Put a little trim on it. Some fibers and more die cuts and doilies. Um, so that is a tuck spot. This is my butterfly and made a tuck spot out of that with a tag. Um, and just put some layered flowers underneath with a brad. Um, some extra washi and die cuts. Um, this one is just some layering. This is um, time flies. And then this is a doily that she made in a dragonfly. And this, I think, actually came off of an off cut of something. So I just put some bling on it and made an extra little journaling spot there. And this is a bag that J.C. Alexander had sent, I think, in some happy mail. So I just layered some book page behind it. And it's not a tuck here. It's just an open bag here. I don't have anything in it. thought she could put whatever she wants. Um, this, I just made a little postcard in the back and some extra note cards that she can write on. And this is a um, square dolly from Denise, who has a tattered dream. And I did some layering here. And again, my mom cut this little pocket out for me. And I made a tag out of some extra journaling, or extra pattern paper. And I'm having a time with this lace cloth. Um, just used some music note paper and put some um, copy dyed paper on the back, some fibers and um, ribbon trim. And this is just a couple of little journaling spots that I made here and sewn around. And tuck right there. And on this side, I did a fishtail banner and just put an extra, this is just an extra sheet of off-cut paper that I just inked up. A couple of tags, that's a K&N Company tag. I just added some extra pieces of lace and trim. And this is what I made. And uh, this came from Amanda, who is Scrimpy's Lace Closet, and layered some book page and a stamped in, uh, sentiment there. Just some journaling card li or journaling lines. This is a tag that I made. It's did a lot of collaging with hemp cord and bling, a little dragonfly on a garment pin, and use a Tim Holtz uh, bulldog clip for that to hold it. And on the other side, I've got this held in with that clip, and it's just a, a tag, a flip tag. Um, just put some extra journaling space in that. So I'll put that back later. And then this is just an oval doily that I got from Denise as well. And this is one of my, it's like a four by six time card that I used just to make it, um, sewed it on and edge cut it with Martha Stewart. Extra journaling spots. Um, and then the other side is um, just a couple of journaling spots as well. And I've sewn this one. Some stenciling on both pages. I'm having a time with this, guys. Sorry. <laughs> okay, and then I got the Rita Donnelly corner flip here with some layering and some handmade tags. Um, this one I think I was gifted by someone and I can't remember who, I'm sorry. 
Um, and this, I just layered this up with some lace and trim. Thought the baby was very cute. So, and by the way, I'm going to be a grandmother for the first time, so I'm excited. That was my Mother's Day present for my daughter. Um, so I did a little layering here with some, um, I don't even, not even sure what that is. Um, and then I did a side pocket here. Um, and this is just a doily. Um, with some book page behind and some butterfly and moth and trim and this is just a couple of little journaling spots in this envelope did a little stamping ledger paper another um, envelope pocket that I got here was just a little uh, project life card in it um, another journaling spot here for the doily behind and just a pocket double pocket here with book page and this is also a tuck here did the ledger stamp or ledger stencil here I love the ledger stencil it just works just about anything vintage so did a little lace collage up here um, and got my garment pen I gessoed it um, and put a little pieces of lace and a button, vintage button. And this is an envelope I got off Pinterest and it's just got a little journaling card in it. And made a tag stop tuck there. And this is just to double the center of the signature. Um, this is a new date, a doily die that I got and I love it. It comes out of this die just very easy um, no fuss very very easy and just put some project life cards in that all right and this one I just did some second generation and third generation doily stamping um, book page envelope and another project life card some lace and buttons another handmade tag with some seam binding, another um, altered paper clip, a lace doily, I mean a, a lace belly band with some rosettes and just a little journaling spot. This journaling spot is from Prima. Don't remember which um, stack this goes with, but <clears throat> excuse me. And then the new washi that I got finally, um, the Perfume bottles. I couldn't even think of it. Sorry. Going brain dead. It's late. Um, got a little journaling card here on the ledger paper. And some stenciling and just some Chinese braid here. And this is one of those time cards. It's uh, just a little 4 by 6 It's copy dyed. And it's just some die cuts layered up. And this one, I just used a piece of off-cut paper and made a little tuck journaling spot there. And I did a, um, oh my gosh, I just went blank. <laughs> oh my gosh, a definition stamp, my goodness. And this is just a little journaling spot that I made with some flowers layered. And this is an um, altar playing card. Put some lace and a little key on it. Did a guest check with some fussy cut flower and uh, this is just pattern paper and this is a pattern paper tag as well. And the other side of that doily. And this is my favorite stamp and I love oval tags so I had to put that on top. And this is just an extra off cut of paper I put lace on for just a pretty journal spot. And this one is a guest check, and I think this came out of the Tim Holtz. Um, don't remember which ephemera pack that was, but yeah. And this is the leaf trim, and I just put some bees and dragonflies and a little piece of uh, ribbon here. I made some flowers on the vine. This is um, a glassine sack, and couple of journaling tags and this is a little journaling stick that I made 
and this is just an extra little tag that I had to try and get rid of some of the printouts that I've got millions here. I've got to stop printing and start using. Um, this is a tag. I think Yvonne sent me this one in a swap that we did a while back. Just added a butterfly and some ribbon trim and a journal. Um, Product life journaling spot there. So just a little layering at the bottom. This was um, a little card Rita Donnelly did for me, and I just added a little um, floral stick curly cue on the back or on the side, and uh, just for something fun. And this is a little bell with my off cuts of lace and ribbon trim, and got a piece of. Uh, memo paper in there and die cuts and flowers layered um, and this is another little flip up here out of um, this paper collection it's just another off cut of paper that I made a journaling card out of and some little journaling spots these are the glasses my mom cut for me I thought they were really cute um, and then I've got just a couple of pieces of paper here little cutouts this it's getting smashed, but this is, it was a four by six project life card that I cut down and cropped the corners and used the other half to die cut this jar, mason jar, and I did some gold embossing on it and had enough left to make this little tag to go in this tiny little glassine bag up here. Um, and then this is just a couple of little tags that I, um, I've got to where I do that all the time, I guess, but I love that little look. That's cute. Um, then this is just an off cut of paper again and a little journaling booklet that I made out of some graph paper and an off cut piece of paper. This was out of a greeting card that I tore apart and took the foam tape out from between and just made a tuck spot here with a little spool of paper. Um, and then the back is empty and you can fill it with whatever you want to fill it with. So that is my journal for this time. And I appreciate you staying with me and watching. And I will see you in the next video. Have a blessed day.